When Governor Chris Sununu was in Washington at the end of last month, he handed the drug czar a list of initiatives and programs he'd like to expand in the fight against opioid addiction a comprehensive list that spared no expense. The numbers in, in the realm of well over $300 million, $350 million, something like that, that we asked for. Sitting down for a Thanksgiving week taping of Close Up, the governor told News 9 that $350 million would be used to do more of what is already working in New Hampshire. There were wraparound services uh, on uh, the Safe Stations program, which has been successful, transitional housing programs, ex expanding Granite Hammer and, and Granite Shield, our recovery-friendly workplace program, which is really the first of its kind in the country. Tim Rourke, the chairman of the Governor's Commission on Alcohol and Drug Abuse, says the state's addiction treatment and recovery system is maxed out right now. Our provider communities and local organizations have come out and grown to provide more services, but they can't grow anymore unless they know that the services that they have in place are well funded and sustained. Of course, there is no guarantee any of this money will be coming to New Hampshire, but Governor Sununu says there's value in making sure the White House knows there's a problem solving mentality here and a plan already in place. I'm going to advocate. I'm going to be at the table. I'm going to ask for everything I can I can possibly find under the sun and then we can negotiate back. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.